All right, so next topic is nothing new. We are just taking everything we've learned and we're just putting it together, all right? So you'll see why it's called combined loading. Uh, but we're going to start with 2D stresses. So let's look at and, and review and remember the 2D stresses caused by N, V, and M. Remember for 2D problems, if we cut the beam, we could solve for that N, we could solve for that V, we can solve for that M, and we know the stresses that each of those cause. So first let's start with the uh, normal stress caused by that normal force N. Right? Normal stress caused by that normal force N. Uh, it is a sigma and it is a uniform uh, N over A. All right? It's a normal stress, it's uniform N over A, uh, right here you know uniformly it's an, a normal stress so it is perpendicular to the cut uh, and that would be compression right here of n over a <clears throat> just the force divided by the cross-sectional area all right uh, let's look at v uh, v creates a shear stress so let's look at the shear stress caused by v uh, we've already done this. Uh, our old method, our old way, was tau is V over A. That's what we were using when we were designing pins. That's what we were using when we wanted a really quick uh, way of, of figuring out what's the order of magnitude, what's the stress. Uh, we would find the tau average was V over A. But our new way and our more accurate way is VQ over IT. VQ over IT. So now the shear stress caused by the shear force is VQ over IT. So, you know, the N creates that stress, the V creates that stress. And what stress does the M create? This is the one the what we've done, the um bending stress caused by M, uh, and it was sigma equals MY over I. The book's going to say negative MY over I. I like to say MY over I, and I'll give it a negative or positive myself after I look at whether it creates you know, a smiley face or a frown, and whether I'm looking at the top or the bottom. But this is sigma equals MY over I. So that M creates this sigma. This would be MY over I. And do you see that both of these are sigmas? Both of these are perpendicular to the cut. They're compression or tension. They create elongation or contraction. Uh, this is a normal stress caused by M. <clears throat> And so we can combine, we can add the normal stress caused by N and the normal stress caused by M, we can add them together. Because they're the same type of stress, right? They are normal stresses. They are perpendicular. Um, now, I, we got to be careful whether we should be, if it's positive or negative, um, but we can add them, and so the state of stress, if I ask, hey, what is the state of stress at this cut, at this location, then I'm saying, okay, what is sigma and what is tau? Tau is just the VQ over IT, but the sigma would be the N over A and the MY over I. Sigma would be the N over A and the MY over I. Uh, so, so what really happens, if we have something that is compressive, it has compression right here that is uniform over the area, and it has a bending moment that looks like that, then when I add them together, what it really has is I can add this with that. It really is more like this. Um, you know, when I add them uh, together. So 
So anyway, for 2D beams, we can add the normal stress caused by the normal force plus the normal stress caused by the bending moment. Be careful, one might be positive, one might be negative, you know, one might be compression, one might be tension, uh, but add them up. And then the state of stress, tell me one sigma, what is the sigma at that point, and what is the tau at that point? All right, so let's do some problems.